DJI's Phantom series have become something of a benchmark for consumer level drones, or quadcopters if you prefer, thanks to their simple setup, ease of flying and relatively low price. With two previous revisions proving to be rather popular, DJI have now released a rather substantial update, known simply as the DJI Phantom 3. Having dropped support for the GoPro, DJI have redeveloped Vision Plus to produce their own powerful camera system with the Phantom 3. Available in two flavours, the Advanced supporting 1080p recording at up to 60 frames per second, and the Professional supporting a massive 4K at 30 frames per second, both models are otherwise pretty much identical. With their updated camera sensors promising improved dynamic range, both are equipped with ground scanning sensors to let them fly indoors with greater stability, and both can stream your aerial footage live to YouTube. With special thanks to UK-based hobby mounts, here we have the flagship DJI Phantom 3 Professional. Let's take a closer look. Within the familiar looking package, users will find an envelope containing a full user manual, a welcome addition considering the predecessor came with no guide in the box whatsoever, along with several sets of stickers sporting a metallic finish. Further within the package, users are greeted with the Phantom 3 craft itself, complete with metallic gold stickers pre-attached, as well as the battery module pre-inserted. The controller unit sporting a design based on the larger Inspire 1, although new for the Phantom range. A soft carry pouch, containing two sets of propellers. An accessory box containing the battery charging adapter, along with a micro USB to USB cable. And finally, a smaller accessory box containing some extra rubber dampeners and gimbal clips, spare foam feet, along with a prop removal spanner. All in all, a comprehensive kit containing everything users need to get straight up and running, along with a spare set of propellers just in case you need them. The Phantom 3 itself looks very similar to DJI's previous models, with the white plastic body, four rather substantial arms with rotors at the tips, albeit more powerful and efficient than the predecessor, and the fixed landing legs slung beneath. Talking of landing legs, notice the lack of canvas and compass modules as with the Phantom 2. The DJI Phantom 3 sports a cleaner external finish with integrated light bridge technology for full HD FPV feeds. The included propellers with a more substantial feel incorporate the same black and silver tips, matching up to the tips of the motors on the main unit with the refreshingly simple twist to lock design. So from above, the Phantom 3 remains pretty much unchanged. There's no need to change an otherwise great design after all, other than some upgrades within the craft, such as the integrated light bridge technology and a rather substantial upgrade to the GPS positioning system, the main external changes lay under the belly of the craft in the form of a newly upgraded camera unit, along with a new vision positioning system, which sits just behind and stabilizes the craft during indoor flight. Let's not forget the upgraded intelligent battery unit. With a slightly lower milliamp rating, now a LiPo 4S, the unit provides a higher 15.2 voltage and should provide between 20 to 23 minutes of flight time. Plenty for most hobbyists, but anything more professional and you'll certainly want to purchase some spares. The unit as a whole feels as well built as before, although a 200 foot drop will no doubt result in some damage. The odd bump into walls or small crashes while you get the hang of flying won't phase it. Thankfully, the rotor blades are easily replaceable if you do manage to snap a few. The camera unit slung beneath the drone has had a bunch of significant upgrades. Sporting an improved sensor with better dynamic range, the Sony Exmor lens is now capable of 12 megapixel stills in both JPEG and RAW formats. The headline feature on this professional model is of course its ability to shoot video to Ultra HD 4K resolution at frame rates of 23, 24 or 30 frames per second. Those with the advanced model will still enjoy full 1080p HD output at a silky smooth 60 frames per second, although at a 40 megabit data rate in comparison to the professional 60 megabits, which produces a slightly crisper output. With a 94 degree field of view, the image will be narrower than the previous version. That may seem like a step down, but it's for good reason. The smaller field of view with the Phantom 3 range will eliminate distortion, or fisheye as it's known, and hence require less, if any, post-processing. The camera itself is mounted on a 3-axis gimbal, which automatically corrects for any slight movements of the drone, as well as smoothing out vibrations from the motors. 
It's a similar, if not the same system as the Vision Plus, with a micro USB port on one side and a micro SD card slot on the other. Although a 16GB memory card is included to get you started, the system supports cards of up to 64GB in capacity. Originally implemented with DJI's Inspire 1, the Phantom 3 implements two new sensors and a small downward facing camera, just behind the main camera unit. These detect patterns on the floor to lock onto in order to remain stable when flying indoors, where a GPS signal is otherwise not available. It works well at a distance of around 30 to 300 centimeters and does need a surface with a clear pattern and adequate lighting but the new sensors mean it will have much better stability and is able to hover in a fixed location with no effort, similar to flying outdoors with GPS. Operating on the 2.4GHz frequency, the controller is roughly similar to previous versions and takes on many of the features from the Inspire 1, with the two main highly sensitive control sticks and a clamp in the center. With a rubberized finish for added grippability, the clamp itself opens with a smooth, steady motion and grips onto tablets as well as smaller smartphones thanks to the fold-out feet, acting as the display for the drone's camera. Beneath this is a button for switching the controller on or off and a return to home button with a surrounding LED light used for automatically bringing the drone back to you when the need arises. A bank of small status LEDs at the very bottom highlight how much power remains in the internal 6000 mAh LiPo 2S battery, which can be charged through the single charging port on the side of the unit. A twin antenna design provides an incredibly long range of up to 1.2 miles, while maintaining a steady 720p live feed from the drone's camera thanks to the DJI Lightbridge technology built into both the remote and the Phantom 3 itself. Although available when using the DJI Pilot app, on each top corner of the controller users will find quick access buttons. One side incorporates a mode switch, a button to start and stop recording, and a dial for controlling the tilt of the camera itself. The opposite side holds a shutter button for taking still images, a playback button, and a camera settings dial. A combination of the main camera controls all within easy reach. A further two buttons on the rear are fully user customizable, while a micro USB and standard USB port at the top are used for connecting to the smartphone or tablet, as well as applying firmware updates. DJI certainly pulled out all the stops with this controller, from the slip-free rubber matte finish to the easily accessible functions, all wrapped up in an ergonomically comfortable design. With a tablet in place it can get a little top heavy, so a neck strap is advisable, but as it stands it's a joy to use. Free to download and use with the Phantom 3, the DJI Pilot app puts complete control of the craft into your hands. With a simplified, more intuitive user interface and compatible with both iOS and Android devices, the app provides a live video feed of the drone's view, while providing information on battery life, flight time, height, speed, as well as a simulation mode for practicing without launching the craft itself. It even allows you to change in-depth camera settings, such as exposure and white balance, all with the drone in the air. DJI's new Phantom 3 drones maintain the overall simplicity and ease of use of the previous Phantoms. The addition of 4K on the Pro model, along with the indoor flying abilities and improved image sensors on both versions, help them appeal even more to enthusiastic amateur filmmakers who want to experiment with aerial footage, but don't want to break the bank to get their shots. We've literally just touched on some of the important new features incorporated into the DJI Phantom 3. Join me in the specially created DJI Phantom playlist as we look into setting up and successfully flying the Phantom 3, as well as considering each of the new features in further depth. In the meantime, hit that subscribe button and I'll see you in the next video, where we'll look at updating the craft's firmware and preparing for flight.